If you are a fan of rap music, you might be a fan of Nas. And if you're a fan of Nas, you probably know a song called Made You Look. Like we bring an 88 back. They uh, made you look. You were slave to a page in my rhyme book. Notice in the song he doesn't say made you look. He says made you look. Made you look. And that is because of one little aspect of connected speech called coalescence. We've already discussed coalescence in a previous video, but in this video we will discuss another type of coalescence. Why is this important for you, the English learner? Understanding coalescence will allow you to understand native English speakers when they are speaking quickly and also make you sound more natural when you are speaking. So stay tuned. Coalescence occurs when two distinct sounds combine to form a completely different sound. In connected speech, when one word ends in a d sound and the next word begins with a y sound, those sounds combine and change to form a j sound. Let's look at an example. Listen carefully. Could you pass the salt? I will repeat one more time slowly. Could you pass the salt? Notice I did not say, could you pass the salt? Could you pass the salt? I said, could you pass the salt? Could you pass the salt? Some sounds coalesced, right? Because could ends in a d sound and you begins with the yeah, sound. So could you became could you? Could you? Could you pass the salt? Could you? Could you? Let's look at another example and then I will give you a couple practice sentences. Last year was an odd year. I will repeat one more time slowly. Last year was an odd year. Notice I didn't say odd year. I said odd year. Odd year. You can probably guess why. Odd ends in a d sound and year begins with a y sound. I did not say odd year. I said odd year. Odd year. Last year was an odd year. Now it's time for a little practice for you. So pause the video, identify where the coalescence occurs in these two sentences, practice saying them, and then we will go over them together. First sentence, did your brother come to your graduation? I'll repeat, did your brother come to your graduation? The coalescence occurred with the phrase, did your, did your. We did not actually say did your, we say did your, did your. Did your brother come to your graduation? That is because did ends in that d sound and your begins with the y sound. So we said, did your, did your brother come to your graduation? And sentence number two is, I kid you not. It's a common phrase in America. Listen again. I kid you not. The coalescence occurred with the phrase kid you. Why? Because kid ends in the d sound and you begins with that y sound. So we did not say kid you, we said kid you. Kid you, I kid you not. So that was a very short video on coalescence. I hope you learned something. If you did, remember to like this video, subscribe if you have not already. Feel free to share this video with anybody who you think might find it useful. And until next time, English learners.